So in this video, I'll be going over how to do ISO line renders. Let's say, for example, this is your low poly, and you want to render it with a smooth. So you go here, scroll down, skip triple smooth. But the problem is you want to show the, uh, the actual wireframes of the low poly, not the high poly. What you can do is click on ISO line display, and you want to be able to render these nice smooth lines, and not the um, this version. Because this version here actually tells you how the topology looks like. This one doesn't. So all you need to do is turn that on. That's a triple smooth modifier. Click on ISO line display. I'm currently using Mental Ray. I'm going to open my uh, material editor here, grab this, and assign a new material. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on Standard here and go to Composite. I'm going to discard my old material. doesn't matter. Um, in my base material here, I'm going to go for Ambient Inclusion. So I'm going to scroll down, find Mental Ray. Surface, none, ammo reflective occlusion. I was going to give it 128 samples. Go back up to the parent, up to the parent again, and material one. Click on that. I'm just going to give it a standard. I click on wire. Make sure you change the color. Uh, it really depends on what, uh, how you want this to look like. I do prefer my gray renders to uh, my wire renders to actually have a darker uh, color with a brighter wire. So I'm going to go with a dark gray and go back up and go to my standard and I'm going to use a white line. But because I don't want shadowing on my lines, I'm going to turn on self-illumination at 100. If you think your lines are too thick, you can go underneath extended parameters and change the, um, your wire size right there. So I'm clicking render real quick. I'm going to change this from uh, full turnaround just a single. I'm not going to save this out. Click render. And there you see it. Ice align in your render. If you think the white's too harsh, which I actually do think is a bit harsh. I'm going to turn that down slightly. More of a light gray on it. That's all there is to uh, ISO line render. You can give your base a special, uh, if you want to give it an inclusion also, you can just click give it, assign, and if you also want it to have the exact same colors as that, I can go back into my main shader, go back up, just click and drag this into this slot right here and do an instance, and assign the instance to that base, that way, whatever I do to one automatically updates both. And there you go, that's pretty simple. Uh, if you want the base to have ISO line, normally it doesn't matter if the base itself has uh, wires, but in case you did want to, you can. Nothing uh, crazy. Currently the base has a mesh smooth on it. You can see how different it is. It doesn't have the uh, ISO line, so you want to use Turbo Smooth. Cancel that, and let's kill off this mesh smooth here. And now let's go and do the Turbo Smooth with ISO line. And there you go. And that's how you do it with a mental ray. Now if you want to do this in V-Ray, what you can do is, here it is, uh, let's grab both of these. I'm going to sign it to the standard shader like so. I'm going to change my renderer from Mental Ray to V-Ray, so scroll down, assign renderer, production, V-Ray, and I'm going to just click on the diffuse little box right there, scroll down, and look for the V-Ray edges text, like that, and right now it's default on um, white wire on gray, you can do that if you want to, I'm going to darken this, just click render and there you go V-Ray ISO line uh, if you want the um, nice bounce lighting let's go into direct illumination, turn it on this will take, your, this will significantly slow down your render time so be careful with it right now there's nothing in the scene for it to light so of course that would be the problem 
if you had uh, actual lights in the scene, it could help. Let's see, I think changing this to pure white should help it. And there you go. I said line runner in V-Ray and in Mental Ray.